And yep, there's definitely some stuff they don't want you to see. And basically what it is is the meatball. But there's other stuff. There's lots of stuff in space they don't want you to see. Now you can see the meatball and basically I just cursor around it. And then you basically can sit there and watch it. And it's right there. And what we want to start doing is looking up behind. Now this is from the 17th. Okay. Start looking up behind because it looks like there's another right here. But now this could be a shadow from the meatball. Okay. But I really kind of doubt it since the massiveness of these shadow would be bigger than that so i'm starting to believe that we've got two and as you can see layers and layers and layers so the resolution is they can actually you can get a good idea through x-ray imagery because that's what this is x-ray imagery that's right this is basically a photocopy x-ray photocopy of space and it almost looks like there's actually the scary thing and then the idea that when we're hiding out in a hole is the hole that we're hiding out here also in between these three meatballs as you can see there hopefully that this is some kind of shadow off of venus but this is absolutely no shadow off of venus here which we know to be the meatball but we're getting a lot clearer spot, shot out there in the darkness deep darkness of space in the back door area of Uranus and so forth as we take our which is basically the sun is over let's take the cursor here Jupiter and the sun is over here now the interesting thing is that's probably Mars doing this here because Jupiter is here this should be Jupiter here this is probably Mars doing his CME reactor flare over here and I can take and show you some in images off of the base. We'll scroll down here so you know that this is where we're at. 1017, and then we'll just go ahead and pop. Always share an actual factual data, folks. So there we are, and you can't miss the meatball. You can see it right off the bat when you're even in a small resolution. So more than likely, that is probably Mars. I mean, Mercury. So, excuse me. More than likely, Mercury doing the CME re reactive flare up there. And uh, basically that's where we sit. And now let me take you to the gray. And once again, they're not letting us see. And basically I'll show you what you're not letting us see. And we pop back one more because we've got this right here. They're not letting us see. And I'll just quickly go up to 400. And we'll slide over. And you'll... I'm going to start telling you and showing you basically if you look at the angle here earth is safe Okay, we should miss this one here and we Hopefully we'll miss all three of these Okay, because it looks like there's three when you go ahead and go to the blue that I just showed you the movie of okay As you can see 10 13 and they won't let us play it I.e. That's what I had picked you see to play the movie and it won't let me say it and it's on ahead That's what I got Mark is ahead. So we'll go ahead and we'll pop in this at like custom and then there we go and what's good is we're going to be high on it okay and hopefully we're high on this other stuff or at least we're probably going to pass in between and just high enough to miss all three of them let's go back to the video and I'll take you down. Well, first I'll go up and give you the whole shot. There you go. And more than likely, folks, relax. This is more than likely a 2D or 3D hologram of our shadow. Okay. There and there. Okay. And that is Venus to the left. That's real bright. This is Venus. And you can see that if you go to Hawaii cams. Watch my last movie. So basically, the sun doesn't like it when Neptune is around and other objects. Okay. So as you can see. We're getting, we got an M class here recently too. Now this is only the 18th, but you can imagine what it's hyped up to be, okay? Now Big Brother's being selective, and then here we go. We're gonna zoom back into our shot. And there you see, you'll see the meatball. Now you see we were able to get the 18th on another shot, okay? Like I say, it's pretty factual that more than likely that this is a shadow from Venus. But either that or we're basically seeing and honestly, I really don't believe it to be. 
It's not a shadow of Venus. I really just don't think it's a shadow of Venus. So, no matter what, we're seeing this right here. All the way around. And this here too. The cat shadows don't layer themselves because you can see right here that you get this. Shadows wouldn't layer themselves like that in space on an x-ray. So it's pretty positive we've got two for sure because you really can't miss those two. And like I say, it starts to look pretty much like that there's one back here also. And you almost get that because you can get an overlay here of this here. And actually this could be up high above the meatball down here. And actually this one could be closer. This meatball here could be closer to the camera than this large one down here. It's just a large one comes in the biggest and brightest. So you got three bocce balls out there. Meatballs, they're huge. All right, right there, right here, and right here above. So, and what's gonna be interesting if we're gonna pop back, I'm just gonna click back and you're gonna see that they've taken away what I was showing you on the gray again. They do not like being able to see that. They're sharing it between scientists, but they don't want to see you. And I'll basically go back out to a hundred, but as you see the gray shots gone. So it's gonna be interesting if they steal the sound on this video or what they try to do. So we'll go ahead and give the, we'll see if we can sneak in the 18th on this, on the red. And we were able to get the 18th on the other shot, as you can see. No, nope, ain't got that. So then I'm gonna go back, save some editing time. See if we can see Mercury doing the flare over on this side. And it doesn't look like I got anything marked. And it's the only thing I can get is the 17th right now. So as you can see, we're getting slowed down majorly. Again, you can see more static. We'll just say here is larger for a second, but you see we're getting huge static electrical coming off the super giants and the sun. You can see that it's way larger than the sun. And then you gotta slow it down and try to see if it's coming into the sun, because this is playing, so I'll slow it down. Yeah, it looks like it's coming to the sun. It's not coming off the sun. So there's a huge sun over to the left of this shot. That's sending in static electrical. As you can see, you watch that bam right there like that. So we'll go a little bit larger, take a look at it. Popped in here at 400. So you realize that we're at what we're at. We'll go up. And there comes the strong burst of it from the left. And it comes in, as you can see, from the smaller resolution. The sun's CME goes off into space and then the electrical comes back in from where the hell out in space. As you can see, it's coming in. Let's back up the tape and you can see that it comes in, it doesn't go out. And like I say, more than likely, Mercury's doing a CME reactive flare. Basically, I think there's the CME and there's a CME reactive flare, I think, that comes off. It's not positive, but more than likely, this last little burst right there is probably off of Mercury. right there that might be a CME off of mercury so this is the latest and greatest so let's see what else we can pick up on I'll go to the pictures yeah thermal engine we can see a lot and basically that's the X-37B X-rayed after landing, and basically that's why they wear their little rubber suits. They don't want to start glowing in the dark, but that's basically an X-ray image. Now, I'm going to go ahead and 
keep showing how far behind we are on knowing what they actually got. Static electricity, they put the shuttle to ground right away here. They got a ground they put down and then they worry about radiation and everything like that when they get it back down to the ground. Radioactive little satellite. And we've got more than the two they say we've got. So this is one in the cocoon just ready to go and take off. This is an artist rendition of an actual picture. Okay, what it actually does up there. How it gets its power. Solar panel. The Russians slept with an engineer in the ear a long time ago, as you can see, they already know. Plus, there's also Russians that are on the team. Basically, salesmen. And we can go bigger, we can go smaller. This is the early 34, I think. And then it goes on up to this and this. And I'll bring this down a little bit in resolution. Basically, this is in development. But actually, actually this might be of, of the six, like of a return flight. One of the first return flights, I think. Because you can see some of the marking on the... Another shot from the X-37B from a return flight. Getting prepped to go back. And as you see, one of the early returns. And as you can see, the return times are quite fast. And we're basically wanting to show that off. Believe me, they know about it. The enemy knows about it. I.e. June of this year, they don't care if anybody snaps a shot of it. We're proud of it. Very proud of it. So working machine, and there's way more than one. And just like an astronaut through water, it's just like a big whale, and that's what the design is pretty much, and it works real good. And basically they're just looking for, that's a template, looking for any deformity. And no deformity, I'm doing real good. So this is what everybody's been worried about. But like I say, if you look at the trajectory, uh, t trajectory, as we can see the big first close meatball that we really know about, that is right here, and you know it's not a shadow, okay? So everybody would think, keep on thinking, oh, it's a shadow. It's not. That's good is we should miss this one high and the closeness and the farness of the other ones back the video up a little bit. We should be just fine. We've been hiding out like a rabbit in a hole for a long time, ladies and gentlemen, a long time. Now, these are two of our that we didn't really know about. They don't like to tell us about. But basically, we do have this here rem uh, remnant or twin, this one here. So this is when we were a star at one time. This is Earth, folks, and the moon is there. We had three orbs around us, just like we see a lot of planets out there that have moons and so forth. And yes, more than likely, we have two moons that are a lot farther away that we really can't see. Okay? Either that or they've been playing the shell game with us for a long time, and we've actually got three moons, and we keep getting a different one every once in a while. Yep, and we spiral and rotate through space at more than 66,000 miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen. And as you can see, this object does exist next to Earth there, and also that object there. And the moon is up there having a shadow. It's bigger, possibly, than the other two. But they're there, and then it could be they could be bigger. So there's lots of stuff they don't tell you about that's actually there. And remember, this is Venus here. Military's going to have a new helicopter, pretty much does. Most of the CIA and the Special Forces usually already use these a lot, so that's your new copter action. This is your angstrom they got. This gets lighted up when they have the angstrom, then basically the pulse that comes off of the sun. Different angstroms, colors. We'll get more into that later. I got another one I got to download. And yep, meatballs out there. We caught this on, on the 9th. I'll have another picture of that in a second. They'll be able to paint these black and a lot of other colors. Remember, the black's not just for you, it's just another color. Yes, the Chinese and the Russians are getting along very well, and they're doing a lot of business together, and the Chinese refine their equipment very good, i.e. the aircraft carrier and other stuff. They do a better job than the Russians do. They're just good remodelers, I guess. Good auto body. I.e. all the machining secrets that we've given the Chinese over the years because they do our work for us. They make a nice one. And yeah, it's real, folks, because basically there's the fuel coming right off, burning out the back end. Yep. Yeah. It's real smooth and real sweet. And it's Chinese. Russian friends. The Russians have to make sure that you realize that they can fly in the cold. They do a lot of work to get it to happen, but it takes a slow time, but it works eventually. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. We can see you. We can see you. Don't worry, America. We're light years ahead, and it came back. Even when it has a little malfunction, it still came back. Went a little bit too high, too fast, floppity floppity. Yep, the Russian one was earlier. This is the Chinese one. You always watch the markings. This is the Chinese. The Russians is the other one that I showed you earlier with the flames off the back. 
I know, we always keep winning. 